So another one of those. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, let's see. I'm tempting to use one of these. The Pell mic, because it does sound better, but the mic on the camera is actually not terribly bad. So yes, focus, focus, focus. So welcome to another quickie, a uh, couple of updates on my vblog. I'm not exactly sure if this should be a diary, but I may be moving over to Rumble. Um, you can find me, TM Drake, on Rumble. I'll probably post a link in the description below. But I wanted to make sure I cover a few things first. So on the flip side, I got a new tail. Let's see if I have it. The only, the only minor thing I could say would be a bug on this would be the fact it's velvety because that means you can't pit backwards. It just feels all messed up. But it's got scales, so it's a very good tail. It's strong, very strong, which is why I like these tails made by the infamous Brum, Brum Yum. It's a fur that does RP very well, and I kind of applaud that fur because... Whatever, but there are certain things that I wish some people could get to the personal side. There's a reason why I'm an asshole sometimes. is because real life can sometimes save your ass. So, we all want to live in cool things. But I love to collect things. So, I've got my toy collection back there. Um, I'm probably going to put more stuff up for sale. I sold a ton of stuff last month. And I was down for about four weeks. And then now I'm back up and running, got my car, and then Monday, tragic things happen. So Tuesday, work was still chugging as normal and surprisingly hitting a high note, almost a half a million dollar in one day. That's a pretty nasty high note. And I haven't looked at the logs to see if it actually is a one of those specialty orders or what, because... That means that we're growing, but not at the rate that I like it. To be quite honest, I kind of like the last four years. I was growing, but everything else is plateauing. But now it's everything is like so out of whack. Gas is super high, lumber super high, but construction is still booming. Don't ask me why. This is California. They put up more houses because they know there's more people coming in which is just scary, unbelievable, even though some other people are telling me half the people can't fill in vacancy. I see more uh, high, we're, we're hiring sign in big, bold letters, even at the drive through And I said, if I could put in four hours of my time and I'm not working a full-time job and trying to keep the, uh, the sinking ship afloat, I would probably be doing that right now. Um, someone asked me, maybe I should try to get into Uber Eats, but everyone's like, ah, oh, it's a horrible thing. And I says, well, I'm not doing it full time. I just want to do it on my way home from dinner for a few hours. Maybe I'll grab a snack and go do a run for about three or four hours, maybe make an additional $40, $50 on the side, and then go home for the night. So it covers for dinner or whatever. But this is California, so uh, whatever. I got some good friends that... I shouldn't say good friends, but we're acquaintances, and I'm trying to get some stuff cleared away. I may have to talk to him again when I'm in a better mood, because when you start messing up your login, my biggest IT peeve is that a computer ain't going to recognize your face. It's going to recognize your login, your password, or your two-factor authentication, if you have it turned on due to security requirements. If you don't, my suggestion is just write the darn thing down and put it into a text file, notepad, or write it down and write down when you checked it. That's the biggest mistake because places have you change your password. And when you change it, that's why some sites say I changed it three weeks ago. Because when you change it, many people forget to update their notes. Just like the guy at my work forgets to update my tech logs of what printer goes where. So now I'm in a limbo. I have to do an entire audit to figure out where everything is at again, and then we can have a platform. So I don't want to get too carried away in my five-minute discussion, but that's pretty much what happened last week, other than tra tragedy strikes. So 
I'd like to maybe next week I'll talk more about it. But right now I'm dealing with some issues and everyone's bugging me about toys and stuff. I'm like, it's not up to me. If they give me something, I'll take it, but I'll help them. But I cannot be up to me. And if you've got some beef or whatever to settle, unsettle business, that's your problem. That's not mine. So all I know is I had a pretty good friend recently. So hopefully I'll have more. There are many of but. On the flip side, I've been trying to reorganize the lab, cleaned up back there. The drawers are now finally organized. I need to go to the other room and do all of that this weekend. Some IT work at work and just keep the ball rolling. As they say, still alive. I'm just still alive. And that's one thing I should be really, really proud of, despite the fandom doing some stupid stuff that I really don't like. And put it fair and square. Do things legally, please. Because I'm trying to get everything in the books done straightened up in my books now. Because being organized is one way to victory. Is you can always win if you have everything, you know everything. And you don't just know it, you anticipate. There's a difference. Knowing is when you go to school to get educated. Anticipating is when you make predictions ahead of time so you know where things can go and more than likely they'll go pretty correct. So they say, expect the best but plan for the worst. So that's the reason why legalese isn't my biggest strongest point, but I do read the fine print and I do read the prints and I'm just kind of surprised how many people just gla glaze over them. But fine, if you want to glaze over it, we'll summarize it much faster because the translation of it sometimes will make things a little easier but other however you want to run things so final note for the night before i close this one uh one thing a reminder i have a profile in rumble and i will be moving videos there because i really do like rumble instead you can monetize anything so i think i might switch over to that i'll still update this account when i can but Rumble is going to be the direction I'm going because some of the stuff that I think I'm going to get into, it's just, I would rather throw it in Rumble because they're a lot more open than YouTube. YouTube, you got to have X thousand subscribers to get monetized. Twitter, you've got X, X thousand subscribers to get certified. So I'm just at the point where, you know, I don't want to deal with that. I kind of should have deleted my profile last year and I should have just done that, but I didn't. And... Every time I go back on it, I cringe at some of the stuff. Most of the people have left and blocked me, whatever, or unblocked me recently. So I don't really care now anymore. But I do want to put a video on Rumble sometime later. So final note before I close this up is, it's probably a long B blog. But the final note would be that, yes, uh, the house is sold. So I've been trying to work on that issue. It's cleared out of my life. The door is closed and the check's in the mail. So I just got to wait for that. I got to deal with capital gain tax. So if you don't hear me starting a project, it's not because of that. I have to budget. So yeah, sure, I can start another $20,000 project, but I'm not going to. Honestly, I just want to stick to a $5,000 project until I build that up. I'm going to try to get more sales between a five dollars and $10,000 project because that can push me to the next level since that'll build the account. And once I get that set up, because some of the business accounts require a pretty large minimum in their accounts for investments. So once I get that squared away, I should be able to maybe run that if I decide to continue that route. I really do want to get my eyes fixed. It's not critical, but the quote says, at least one of the light quotes says, it'll probably be about two grand to fix my eyes. So it's not terribly bad. Fursuits. Uh, Taku's working on something, didn't reply back to my response about interest. Uh, another tale's coming in from Nebby, uh, it's shipping coming in, so I should see that next week. I got the refund and a tail back, that's the red tail you just saw, from the other maker. He's pretty much dumped my project, so I don't know if it's really an excuse or the hand, this person has hand issues. It looks like this person does have hand issues. So I've been doing, I was over there on Saturday, I think, with another friend of mine, and we've kind of discovered that, but the hand issues, you know, it's, the person is showing really, in my opinion, I really kind of feel bad about this, showing signs of Parkinson's, because Parkinson's is when you're at a, not a terribly old age, but your hand tends to come unstable, 
I don't know if it's a neuron issue or what. I have the same problem when I'm actually had too much coffee and trying to solder and holding it straight is extremely hard. So the way I get around that is I actually mix alcohol. Yeah, I know it's, it's kind of bad, but alcohol breaks down the neurons in your brain. So it actually seems to slow, slow it down. So I'm beginning to think the people who are very eccentric might have a shortcut way of getting into Parkinson's. My recommendation to that is less RP. I mean, I love the RP, the dragons, the cuteness, but sometimes you're just going to have to take a deep breath, step back and say, well, you know, that's kind of childish. And as much as I love it too, it's fun, it's cute. But if it's going to cause this, I would check this out. This is more important. I've had failures in my arm, but I've had them check it out and they've seemed to just been tended. I stretched. So I probably should exercise. One guy says I should do stretching. Um, I've had to do jumping jacks one time because I was sleeping 14 hours. I don't know if I caught something weird or whatever, but you never know. So proper health is a good thing. But if you start realizing things like you're passing out, like I was passing out at work a few times, but it's usually because I'm dozing off, um, or the huge drive, but anything beyond that, you should really be careful what's going on with your health because... You never know. You could fall asleep and never wake up again, unfortunately. Sadly, is the sad part of that is that I do sleep, but I'm not sleeping as well anymore. So, I don't know. I need some good music, good tunes. But that should be it for today. Uh, see you on Rumble. I'm going to do an introduction and crossover.